It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham, and here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Riddick Bowe, six foot five, 240 pounds with a reach of 81 inches. He'll be going up against this man, Frank Bruno, six foot three, 225 pounds. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. Here comes. So much hype, so. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense in training camp. He's going for the finish. Can he seal the deal here in round one? Incredible start to this fight. He's trying to fight his way back into this. An avoided catastrophe there. Got him on a clean right uppercut. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockouts, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Speed generates power. Timing is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop, knock anybody out. You've just got to hit them on spot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Bruno not answering back. Talk about a one sided three minutes. We just saw it. So they don't get complacent. You think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. There's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good counter left hand there. This is the biggest moment of his life. Can he seize it? Can he take control and put Frank Bruno out as he weathered the storm? How did they not go down? Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. If you get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. You speed, frustrate, and take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tire, trip over their own feet. Get them angry. Hands with the right counter. He looks like he's going to do it. He's going to beat Frank Bruno. Do you believe this? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Step back, compose yourself, compose the pace. Oh, and big Frank Bruno just got belted. Well, he's got him right where he wants him. Can he put him away? That was the moment. Another story shot there. Oh, we don't talk about Bruno. He's been setting up this moment the entire fight. He's got to cash in now. Looks like they've shaken it off. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Bad as box 
some judging can be. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. And Bruno seeing cobwebs. And the big heavyweight Bruno is down. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because... There's a counter shot. Oh, is Bruno gonna go down? Here, and this has not been his round for sure. He looks like he's gonna do it. He's gonna beat. You gotta wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is gonna be. We just saw to make a break. On to the fourth we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this. You watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Nice counter shot. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Oh, is Bruno gonna go down? And the true brick goes down. Make it up and this fight continues. What this thing is to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. Bruno seeing cobwebs. <laughs> that left lands. moment of his life, Kenny, and that'll do it as Bruno goes to the canvas. so far. What can they do to turn this around? I have no idea what they have left. What, how? How do you come back from something like that? Not like twice? Where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. That left scores. This 
fighter is certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means. But they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, this is the biggest moment of his life. Can he seize it? Can he take control and put Frank Bruno out? Disaster averted. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's a right hand. But so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night. He looks like he's going to do it. He's going to beat Frank Bruno. Do you believe this? He needs to just land one big shot, but can he do it? Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. No power in those punches. about Bruno. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. She's sitting in the corner right now, and you've got to believe she's thinking, how on earth can... This is the beginning of round six. Uh, if this round is anything like the last one, we're in for a treat. What a round. What have they got left? How can you get better than that? That is ridiculous. That's stuff you see on video games. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How'd you deal with this? You gotta hope, you gotta hope they were out of steam. There's a scoring blow. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Gonna go down. He couldn't take it anymore as Frank Bruno is on the canvas. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I didn't mean, out, out. 